Hello and welcome to Mathematics Online. So far Euclid's construction has allowed us to create a tetrahedron and prove that it consists of four equilateral triangles. Now in this video we are going to derive the volume of the tetrahedron. So we know that the volume of a pyramid is area of the base times height divided by 3. From our construction, AD represents the side of the tetrahedron and AC represents the height. To simplify this derivation, we are going to label ADA, ACX, and CBY. Therefore, the side of the tetrahedron is A, and the height is X. Let's go ahead and substitute X in for H, and let's concentrate on the base. The base is an equilateral triangle with all sides the same length. To find the area, we need to multiply the base of the triangle times height divided by 2. So the base is A, and notice that the height divides the base in half, and so we have A divided by 2. Notice that we have created a right triangle, and by the Pythagorean theorem, H squared plus A divided by 2 squared is equal to A squared. If we solve for h, we get the square root of 3 times a divided by 2. And we'll go ahead and substitute h above, so the area is the square root of 3, a squared divided by 4. And finally, let's substitute this into the volume formula. And so we have the volume is equal to the square root of 3, a squared times x divided by 12. So we're not done just yet. What we want to do is we want to rewrite the formula in terms of a. So we need to rewrite x. So triangle ABD is a right triangle. And from Euclid's proof of the Pythagorean theorem, we know that the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the squares on the legs of the right triangle. So line CD cuts the larger square into two parts. And this is how we represent it algebraically. Now at the very beginning of the construction, we created line AC so that it is twice the length of CB. So this is represented as x equals 2y. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x plus y. And again, from Euclid's proof, the area of the rectangles are equal to the areas of the corresponding squares. Let's go ahead and do some substitutions. So we have x plus y squared is equal to a squared plus a squared divided by 2. Line CD divides the triangle into two smaller right triangles that are similar. So here is the right triangle ACD. And because it is similar, it's going to have the same relationship on its sides as the larger right triangle. Therefore, A squared is equal to X squared plus X squared divided by 2. Let's go ahead and simplify and solve for X. And so we have x is equal to a times the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 3. Let's substitute this into the volume formula. And we have that the volume of a tetrahedron is equal to the square root of 2 times a cubed divided by 12. And if you search on Google, it shows that the volume of a tetrahedron is a cubed divided by 6 times the square root of 2. And so either of these formulas is going to work. And so this is how you derive the volume of a tetrahedron. Thank you for watching.